Hello everybody, I'm going to present you today how to charge a 12 volts battery. Alright, so let's get started. We're going to get a once in a lifetime opportunity to join the party too. No catch, no money, no skills required. <laughs> this is the stuff that you see on YouTube, you know, all that uh, fancy things, you know. <laughs> we're going to take this battery and we're going to write down the stuff that's uh, written on it. If you don't have the label on the battery, don't worry. Um, further in the video, I'm going to show you some um, constant value that's going to be the same for each and every battery. Yeah, so don't worry, don't have the label, don't worry, still till the end. And I'm showing you how to, you're going to solve this problem. All right, now we're going to put it down what we we have from this battery yeah uh, it says here 12 volts i'm gonna copy exactly as the label says yeah 12 volts 4.5 amp hours hh and 20 hr so this is the first label cycle use is 14 to 15 volts uh, standby use is 13.5 to 13.8 volts and, da, 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 and initial current less than 1.35 amps all right so this is the stuff that you can find on most lead acid batteries this stuff yeah cycle use is this one 14 to 15 so our volts 14 15 Standby use, this is going to be when the battery is, is full, you know, so this is not um, do any good for us. This is just in case of a smart charger is going to read this voltage and it's going to tell you if it's full, halfway or low. All right. Initial current less than 1.35 amps. This is very important because it tells you that you don't have to go with a charger above this 1.35 so without going further of this we already know that the charger of our thing should be less than 1.35 so our charger is x should be less than 1.35 amps so if you have a charger which is uh, 0 0.5 amps here you go you're gonna do the job but Further on, we're going to explain why. So this is the first criteria. So don't go above this value because it's written on there. Now, what we can find next? We have this one, 4.5 AH. You know, this is the total capacity of the, of the battery. I'm going to write it down with the red as well for you to remember the thing. So 4.5 AH. H. This is the total amps capacity stored in that tiny battery over there. And of course, we have the time, which is 20 H hours, meaning 20 hours, yeah, or just simple 20 H. So from the battery description, we find all this information. Let's proceed further on. All right, friends, so to proceed, to proceed all along, we have kept this value that we have uh, taken from this battery in particular for you. Your battery could be different and should be different because we don't have all the, the same battery as well. But the figures should be slightly different or slightly the same. All right, in order to find out our charger, how big should be the charger to proper charge the 12 volt lead acid battery we know just one thing it should be less than 1.35 so if you're going to find a charger i say like 2 amps 3 amps 4 amps or so is no good if it's 1 amp and above you're nearly there all right so now we're gonna note it by x our unknown charger yeah as we can see here 
we have a common thing h h being the the same units of measurement which is hours yeah so we're gonna put this one 4.5 h a h amp hours divided by 20 because this one it says on the on the battery so we're gonna find out that this one is equal to 0 0.2 five amps yeah so our charger to charge that particular battery in a safe time of 20 hours is gonna be minimum than 0 0.225 amps yeah for all this stuff if you want to charge it properly you're gonna go with this kind of thing so this is the formula to find for each and every battery over here this is the formula sorry this is the formula to find your thing for this body, uh, battery in particular but for any different battery is gonna be the same amps over time all right so stay tuned we're gonna write it down find out the formula for uh, calculating the needed current for our charging uh, the 12 volt battery we're gonna note with X the unknown charging current is going to be equal with amps which should be measured in AH not that just plain and simple amps over or divided by time yeah so this is our formula for finding each and every 12 volt battery the needed current to calculate how big is going to be your your charger you know for each and every application is is different so with the help of this formula you're going to find out and you're going to see here it's h as well so you see the resemblance yeah so for each and every 12 volt lead acid battery if you're going to apply this formula and you're going to know all this stuff you're going to find the needed charger for for the thing and you know that should be less than 1.35 all right so let's do a proper example now yeah all right now so uh, if let's have another example if just in case you're not gonna have all those specifications that I told you previously but you know just the power of the the battery let's say your battery is uh, what 3.5 a h and that's it you don't know the rest if you don't know the rest we can apply other rule and some commonly available values for volts and time now, so if you don't have those values specified on your battery a constant voltage should be between 4 and 15 volts but you can go like 14.4 14.2 but i prefer to go on the 14.2 volts so this is nearly in the middle in between those two and if you don't know the time you can apply the formula c14 you know c14 meaning this time is a standard charging time for lead acid battery with unknown specification which 14 stands for hours yeah so in conclusion our formula our general formula for calculating the uh, charger needed for a 12 volts battery in particular should be x the charger yeah with amps over 14 so this is your formula in general if you don't have any specification of the charger of the battery and so on you can apply this formula 14 hours is a plenty safe uh, feature for charging a lead as a battery but if you want to go more safer than this you just can replace this one as you saw in the previous example with 20 and that's going to be your formula for calculating each and every 12 volts battery now in the future video we're going to show you, you know, a practical way to how to charge this 12 volt battery with a laptop charger we saw on which one is best which was is uh, preferable and so on thanks all for watching don't forget to subscribe and see you on the next one and i hope to 
uh, hear about you in a comment about the board about the new way of teaching you guys interesting useful and always no skills required yeah. <laughs>